ए हाई गाइस दिस इज बा कपा चिंचोलीकर इन द प्रीवियस ट्यूटोरियल वी हैव डिस्कस्ड हाउ टू रीड दिस पर्टिकुलर टेस्ट डेटा आई मीन बेस्ड ऑन द यस रो बाय राइटिंग अ सिंपल मेथड वी हैव डिस्कस्ड हाउ टू राइट हाउ टू रीड दिस पर्टिकुलर टेस्ट डेटा बेस्ड ऑन द की एंड द बाय यूजिंग द की वी आर रीडिंग द दिस पर्टिकुलर वैल्यू सो इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल विल डिस्कस हाउ टू टेक योर टेस्ट डेटा इन द n number of steps say for example if you, if you have a future file having n number of steps so how to uh, carry forward your uh, test data into the in multiple steps so in most of the times you may need to carry your test data into the multiple steps so we'll discuss how to take your test data into the multiple steps so here i'm defining two more steps by using the when keyword read test data for so here i'm just mentioning read test data for skill 2 and then in the same way i will write then keyword and just i will copy this and i'll paste it here so here i'll mention just three so in the second step we will be reading the test data for this particular skill 2 value in the third step we are reading the value of skill 3 that is java so <clears throat> we need to implement these two methods sorry guys <coughs> so we need to implement these two methods in the step definition file so let us open the step definition file so before opening the step definition file just i will run this particular testng.xml file so you got two step two step definition file implementation that is what you need to implement here because it is not implemented yet so i will go to the this particular this particular step definition file sorry package that is com.testautomation.stepdef i will open this particular class so i'll just maximize this so here just i will <coughs> implement those two steps in this particular class so that's it so just import the when from the cucumber dot api dot then in the same way just implement sorry import the then keyword so that's it <clears throat> so next step is we we will create a sample <clears throat> class file so that handles our test data so under com.testautomation.utility i will create a one class called test data handler so that's it i will click on finish button so in this particular class what i will do is just i will create a sam simple hash map object new hash map so this particular hash map contains key and value pairs right so first first string is nothing but key and the next string is nothing but the value which holds then i will simply assign to the map type so uh, map is a <coughs> super interface for the hash map in the same way i will mention the key and value of type string so then i will mention the reference variable so here i am mentioning test data in 
map so that's it so by just i will import the related packages for map and the hash map that is from the util package so both hash map and map that comes from the java.util package so that's it so by using this particular reference variable what i will do is i will generate setters and getters for this particular variable so i will select this particular reference variable and i will right click on that particular variable go to the source then here you select the generate getters and setters so simply it will ask you like these are the particular get test data in map and set test data map like what are the method names it will just gives you the information here just you say click click on ok so that's it so <clears throat> as we have this is a public class and we have a public method so whenever we are accessing these two methods we need to create the object of this particular class so what i will do is i will create the object of this particular class in the step definition file so here i will create the object of this test data handler class so here i'm just using the new operator and creating the object of that particular class so that's it so just you need to import the re related packages because as it is exist in the different package so that's it so in the previous tutorial i have given you the one assignment <coughs> in this particular <coughs> step we are reading a test data from the excel file right based on the s row so i had given you the one <coughs> assignment so here we had passed the test data file path that is this particular test data path we have entered manually so i asked you to just uh, create a one sample properties file like this and mention your test data file path and the sheet name in this particular properties file and you read this particular properties file and get the value in values in the this particular step so i had implemented and it is working fine for me so i had just uh, created the object of this particular class and after that just i have used the get property method then by using this properties i'm able to read the test data file and the sheet name so these two keys are exist under the this particular properties file so that is test data file path and the sheet name so by using these two keys i am able to access test data file path and the sheet name so after that i have passed the test case name based on that it returns me the test data so if i run this particular testng.xml file so it will returns you the some value that is there in the <clears throat> we are getting the qmetry framework so as we are reading the test case test data for test case 1 so in this particular test case in the test case 1 we are re reading the skill 7 as a key and this is the value we are getting so what i will do is in this particular step <clears throat> so by using the object of this particular test data handler i am going to call the one method called set so as we have a get method and a set method for in that particular class so i am going to set the value of type map type so i will set the this particular test data after reading the test data based on the s row 
I am getting the test data in the format of hash map. So I am putting this particular test data into the I am setting that particular test data into the this particular method so that I can get that particular test data in map in the later steps. So that is in this particular two step and the third step. So what I will do is in the next step by using the reference variable of this I am going to call the get test data in map. So this particular method it is going to return me the type of value is map type. So I need to store this particular value in map type and then I can access based on the key. I can access that particular value whatever there in the yes row. So that's it. I will store this into the map type map. So this is our key and the value. And after that, I will mention the reference variable name. So that's it. So in the same way, just I will print the value on the screen in the similar way how we are printing the geometry framework that is a skill 7 value in the same way I will print the so here we are reading the test data for skill 2 so I will just copy the skill 2 key so that I can read this particular selenium app driver so I will just copy here and I will paste it here so you need to just change the this particular map name so that's it. So I have used used this particular key uh, reference variable. After that, I'm using the get method to get the this particular key value. So whatever there in the Excel. In the same way, I will copy this and I will paste it here. So in this third step, what we are doing is we are trying to read the skill three value. So here I need to just change the skill 3 so i need to specify this particular key so that i can read java so that's it guys so what we have done we have created a simple test handler class so in this particular test handler class we have created a simple variable hash map type then by using this reference variable we have generated setters and getters these get test data in map and set test data map in these methods are called here so basically in the first step we are setting the test data in the future steps just we are getting the test data by using the get test data in map so that this particular method is going to return as the data in the format of map that is key and value format in the same way it is used in the third step as well so here the output expected is first it will print the skill 7 that is a uh, skill 7 geometry framework then it will print you the skill 2 value that is selenium web driver and the third value it is going to print is skill 3 value that is java so let us run this particular testng.xml file If you look at here, so first it is going to return as the value of geometry framework, then it is returning as the selenium web driver. The third value we are getting it as a null. Let us check it why it is returning as the null value. Go to the step definition file. So, why it is returning as the null value? If you check this particular get method, we have specified the Java. So you need to specify the proper key key name. So we need to specify the skill three as the key and so that you can it can return the respective value in the map. So it is it is not able to find the key as Java. So that's the reason it is returning as the null value. So let us execute this once again testng.xml file.
if you look at here so first it is printing you the q metric framework then second it is printing you the selenium of driver then third it is printing you the java okay guys that's all i have in this session if you like this video please click on like button and share button and if you want to get updates from this channel click on subscribe button thank you thank you so much what for watching this tutorial on test data reading